boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Learn a Skill with me, where you get the opportunity to experiment and also develop a new skill every week. I'm Malika McIntosh and let me let you in on a little secret. I'm excited about this episode today because I have a sweet tooth and today we'll be learning all about cupcake decorating. Joining us today, we have Chef Paula, who will demonstrate this new skill. Thank you, Malaika. Hello, boys and girls. Wow, those look delicious. So, Chef Paula, can you tell us a little bit about what we'll need to get started? So, boys and girls, you will need butter, icing sugar, milk, vanilla, coloring, and to finish our cupcakes, we will need sprinkles. And here we have a hand mixer, and for those who don't have a hand mixer, a whisk or a wooden spoon will do. This is a sieve, measuring cups, spatula, spoons for tasting, and measuring spoons. A plate, icing bag, Ziploc bag, knife, and scissors, piping tips, and bowls. Boys and girls, are you ready and raring to go? I certainly am. But Shampoo, we're wearing aprons and a chef's hat. Can you tell us why these are important? Yes, the chef's hat is so that your hair doesn't fall into our ingredients and our apron is to protect our clothes. Great! So boys and girls, remember to get your hair out of the way and protect your clothing. Let's make our buttercream, boys and girls. Malika, would you like to be my helper? Of course, Chef Paula. Have you washed your hands? I have washed my hands, so they are nice and clean. So step one, we're going to measure all our ingredients. Our butter is already measured into our half cup. Would you like to match our wet ingredients, our milk and our vanilla? Sure thing! Do you remember the amounts? Is it half teaspoon of each? Correct. Okay, so we have our milk first. Okay, that's half teaspoon of milk. And a half teaspoon of vanilla. Yum! So over, over our bowl in case we have any spilling shot color. Correct. And into our clean bowl. So we have a banana. Next step is our icing sugar. One cup of icing sugar. One cup of icing sugar. Chef Paul, do I just take as much as I can from here and dump it in? No. So you need a level cup. So you want to take the back of your knife and scrape off the excess. Okay. So just one level cup. All this extra icing sugar off of my cup. Just like that. Correct. And your next step is to sip. Into the sip. Now, Chef Paul, why is this step of sifting so important? Because we want to get all the lumps out so we achieve a nice smooth buttercream. Okay, and I definitely want a nice smooth buttercream. Yes. All right, Chef Paul, so now that we've completed measuring all of our ingredients, what's next? We're going to add our measured butter to our bowl. Okay. Chef Paula, I noticed that your butter is pretty soft. How come? That's because I had it at room temperature for easy incorporation of the icing sugar. Okay, great. So we're going to whip. Now remember boys and girls, if you're using a hand mixture, Ask mom or dad to plug that in and supervise as you do so. So, 
you want to get your butter light and fluffy and pale in color. Okay, so even lighter. We're going to mix our butter until it's light and fluffy and pale in color. Correct. How long will this take, Chef Paula? It usually takes an average of about five to seven minutes. All right. And what's next? Adding our icing sugar gradually to our butter, our whipping, our whipped butter. Now, gradually? Does it mean just dumping all in? No, you have to add it in with a spoon. Okay, so I'm going to use a spoon and carefully add it. Oh, so you want to use, you want to put your bowl next to, and you want to take a spoon. And you want to ah, I see. So you want to have it very near where you're whipping your butter. Great. So you don't make a mess. All right. So if you don't have a hand mixture mixer at home, boys and girls, you can also use a spatula. You could use a wooden spoon or a whisk. Sugar. So put your bowl aside and bring these two closer to us. Now Shafola, these are really, really tiny measurements of milk and vanilla. How are we going to get all of that in there? So we're going to use our spatula or you can use a spoon. Okay. And you just pour it in. Great. One teaspoon of milk. Half teaspoon of milk. And then half teaspoon of vanilla and half teaspoon of vanilla. See how it's become? That buttercream is looking yummy. And it becomes a little bit stiffer, so you get, um, it's easier to pack. Okay. So we're going to that stage next where we're going to decorate. Oh, so when we get to that, what do we add next, step forward? Our, our colouring. So you may want to add one or two drops. And this is fuchsia. Just one or two drops. Squeeze a little bit. Take it open. That's a big drop, but that's okay. Wow, look at that. That's a nice fuchsia pink color. Let me scrape down again. And we'll give it one more mix. And we're ready to paint. And that's it. your whisk and your you tap it lightly. Okay, so Chef Paula, if I don't have a hand mixer at home, what can I do to get my mixture nice and smooth like yours? So you can use a spoon and this is the, this is the motion that you will use because when you use this motion you get some air into your mixture and that's what makes it light and fluffy. Wonderful. And this is how it's done. Great. So remember boys and girls, you can use a spoon or even a whisk to get your mixture light and fluffy like Chef Paulus. Yes. Thank you, Malaika. Now let's get piping. All right, boys and girls, so it's the time that we've been waiting for. It's time to decorate our cupcakes. So, we have to gather our cupcakes and prepare our icing bag. So, uh, this is our icing bag and this is a 1 ounce icing tip. Okay. So, we begin by measuring the tip against the icing bag because we're going to snip the end like this. And then we're going to place our tip 
in cowl bag. And you notice I've folded it down, right? And I'm just gonna stick this in. So I'm gonna fill the icing bag with frosting. And this is a one end piping tip, as I said, and you begin at the middle. That looks so pretty. Would you like to try? Yes, of course, Chef Paula. So, applying some pressure and at the middle. But you want a 90 degree angle, so hold it straight up. Okay. Correct. Wow, great job. And you want to just pull it up. And the rest of it. And you can also use a zip-up bag by snipping the tip off. So boys and girls, just in case you don't have piping bags at home, you can get yourself a zip-lock bag like Chef Paula is doing. Place that icing tip in there. And we have our icing bag. Great. So Malika, would you like to decorate our cupcakes with some sprinkles? So we're getting into decorating. We've already frosted our cupcakes with our buttercream frosting. And Chef Paula, can you tell us about the other additives? These are cake sprinkles and they're all edible. And you can use any one to decorate your cupcakes just to make it look pretty. You can even mix them. Well, that was loads of fun, Chef Paula. So, boys and girls, let's just remember to go over our steps. We have to measure all our ingredients, make the buttercream, remember to gather those cupcakes that Grandma has made or maybe Mommy has bought at the grocery store, prepare your piping bag, and then decorate. You can be as creative as you like by adding colors and beautiful sprinkles to your cupcake design. So, Chef Paula, now that we've gone through this new skill of decorating cupcakes, we also want to let the kids out there know what are some of the careers that they can get into using this skill. So, you can be a cake decorator, a cake baker, a to share from them many more. Great! So, boys and girls, there are lots of careers that you can get into that will be exciting and fulfilling as you get older. We also want to say a very special thank you to Chef Paula for being with us today. Thank you for giving us the instruction to creating these beautiful masterpieces. Oh, you're most welcome and thank you for having us and we are the culinary school. We are very happy to help with your initiative. Wonderful. Okay, boys and girls. Now, remember, for all the steps involved and all the materials you'll need for today's activity, check out the video description on our YouTube channel. And remember, once you try creating and decorating these beautiful cupcakes, we want you to share them with us. So, have mom or dad take a picture or even a video and send it to us via our social media pages. Well, that's all the time we have for today, boys and girls. We want to see you next week, so stay tuned for another episode of Learn a Skill with Me. So, Chef Paula, can I try a cupcake now? Yes, of course you can, Malika. Great. Well, boys and girls, bye. Bye.